Illegal dumping exposed on social media. How attention online got the city of Detroit to take notice and get it cleaned up. Police say it was one of the largest illegal dumping sites in the city. But it isn't anymore after one man's TikTok videos went viral as the city is now cleaning things up. Let's get to Sean Lay tonight. He is live with how this all was exposed. Sean. Karen, we're on Linsdale here on Detroit's west side, right across the street. Detroit Bus Company, they moved in a year ago. They've been fighting this illegal dumping ever since. It's a huge mess, but he, they were able to get Detroit police out here. They were able to get the city out here for the last couple of days. They've been cleaning and cleaning, but you can see it's still a massive job and a huge mess. The big picture is, though, is that Detroit Bus Company got the ball rolling on this mess by posting a simple video to TikTok. Take a look. Taking out the trash the right way at Detroit Bus Company. Right across the street. Time off request, December 5th, 2005. The wrong way. It's like someone dumped a whole roof. The illegal way. There's semi truck tires, there's boats back there. For Detroit Bus Company's Andy DeRossi. And it just goes on and on, it goes all the way back. The maddening way. Oh. <laughs> I called the city. I asked, hey, can you clean up this land? They said, well, maybe, you know, I filed a C-click fix, didn't really go anywhere. So what would you do to get people to stop dumping here? I have some ideas. And then all of a sudden I posted on TikTok of all things. Unfortunately, I must report that since my last update, the garbage pile has gotten so much worse. It was this quick little video that I posted just 60 seconds long about, hey, this dumping problem is getting out of control. And then 30 minutes later, this officer calls me out of the blue and says, we'll be right over to check it out. I just got a call from the police. Detroit police officer Jeremy Woods saw the TikTok. There was a lot. There was a lot of stuff that got dumped out here. It was the TikTok that got them to come right out. My TikTok I posted 38 minutes ago made it to the Detroit Police Department. Officer Woods and the Detroit Police illegal dumping team, they're driven to end dumping. Not only has the cleanup begun, People were detained, expensive tickets were written, police not messing around over people messing up Detroit. And if you're responsible, we're gonna come after you. I mean, they are not playing around anymore. Like, this, they are putting them on notice. If you see something like this, don't just give up on it. Talk about it, bring it up, post online, tell people about it. Here is your update on the illegal garbage dumping situation on the land across from my factory. Today, the police showed up. They wanna solve this. The city wants to come out and solve this kind of thing. They're putting dumpers on blast. Boom, that's the point. They're putting dumpers on blast. We've been talking about that for a long time. You too, Karen. You've been investigating a lot of illegal dumping with us all here. Here's the big picture, guys. Police say, look, you don't have to dump illegally. Look, here are the free sites. You can take bulk things uh, to dump freely and not get a huge ticket or be arrested. Southfield Yard, it's on Southfield. Davidson Yard on West Davidson. Jay Fon's Yard on East McNichols. That's the point. You don't have to do this. But some people do, and they risk getting thousands of dollars worth of tickets. Back to you. Sean, I got to give that guy credit using TikTok. That was a great way to bring the problem to the, the forefront. Now, has this area been a hot spot for dumping in the past? Well, this area here was a factory, and it's vacant now and cleaned up. But a nearby business, it's heavily suspected of using this place as its dumping ground really since the factory left. But now that place we understand has gotten a bunch of tickets worth thousands of dollars and they think they'll get the message. So yes, this has been a hot spot, but hopefully it'll be a clean spot going forward. And you pointed out just uh, posting a TikTok, yep. Detroit police was watching. They saw it and they got the ball rolling. Not bad. All right, great story. Good work. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it.